Hey there, welcome to this mini course on starting your own independent truck dispatching company. I'm so glad you're here and taking the first step towards financial independence. Let me start by saying that the potential of running a dispatch company is huge. With the right strategies, knowledge, and hard work, you can make a six-figure income in just a few months. Imagine being your own boss, having the freedom to work from anywhere, and the ability to control your own income. It's an incredible feeling, and it's all possible through the world of truck dispatching. As a dispatcher, you you'll be responsible for matching truck drivers with available loads that need to be transported. This might sound simple, but it's a crucial part of the transportation industry, and it requires a particular set of skills and knowledge. The beauty of starting your own dispatch company is that you can work with as many or as few trucks as you want. By dispatching just four trucks a week, you could make up to $10,000 a month. Now, that's some serious earning potential right there. So, if you're someone who wants to take control of your financial future and create the lifestyle you've always wanted, then truck dispatching might be the perfect fit for you. Let's dive into this mini course and discover how you can start your own independent dispatching company and achieve financial independence. Truck dispatching is a vital aspect of the transportation industry, and the role of a dispatcher is essential to keep everything running smoothly. As a freight dispatcher, your job is to coordinate and manage the logistics of transporting goods from one location to another. Think of a dispatcher as the conductor of an orchestra. They must must ensure all the instruments play in harmony and in the right order to create beautiful music. Similarly, a dispatcher must coordinate all aspects of a shipment, from finding a carrier to delivering the goods to the final destination. Dispatchers are responsible for communicating with shippers, carriers, and drivers to ensure everyone is on the same page. They must make sure that the carrier has the right equipment to handle the load, the driver has the necessary paperwork and is aware of the route, and the shipper is satisfied with the service provided. In a nutshell, a truck dispatcher acts as the middleman between the shipper and the carrier. They are responsible for coordinating the entire process and making sure everything runs smoothly. Being a freight dispatcher is a challenging and rewarding career. If you enjoy solving problems, working with people, and making Making a positive impact on the transportation industry, then becoming a truck dispatcher may be the right career for you. Starting your own independent dispatching company can be a game changer in your life, both financially and personally. The trucking industry is one of the most important industries in the world, and the demand for transportation services is constantly growing. By starting your own dispatching company, you have the potential to tap into this huge market and create a successful business that can provide you with financial independence. Not only can starting your own dispatching company provide financial freedom, but it also allows you to be your own boss and take control of your career. You can create your own schedule, choose the clients you work with, and even work from home. This level of flexibility is rare in most industries, but in truck dispatching, it's a reality. Another benefit of starting your own independent dispatching company is the potential for unlimited growth. With hard work, dedication, and a solid business plan, your dispatching company can grow and expand to serve more clients and generate more revenue. This can lead to more job opportunities, better contracts, and the ability to scale your business to new heights. In summary, starting your own independent dispatching company can be a life-changing decision. It can provide you with financial freedom, flexibility, and unlimited growth potential. It's not an easy path, but with the right mindset and the right tools, you can create a successful business that can change your life for the better. The trucking industry is a vital part of the economy, and it's important to understand how it works and who the key players are. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about what the trucking industry actually is. Simply put, it's the business of transporting goods by road using trucks. This industry includes everything from small, independent trucking companies to large multinational corporations. The trucking industry is a key player in the transportation sector, which also includes air, rail, and sea transport. According to the American Trucking Associations, the trucking industry is responsible for moving over 70% of all the freight in the United States. That's a staggering amount. Now, let's talk about some of the key players in the trucking industry. First, up, we have the shippers. These are the companies or individuals who have goods they need to transport. They could be anything from manufacturers to retailers to individuals moving homes. Shippers are the ones who ultimately pay for the transportation of goods. Next, we have the carriers. These are the companies who actually transport the goods. Carriers can be broken down into two main categories for hire carriers and private carriers. 
For hire carriers are companies that transport goods for anyone who needs it, while private carriers transport their own goods as part of their business operations. Then we have the brokers. Brokers are intermediaries between shippers and carriers. They help shippers find carriers to transport their goods, and they help carriers find shippers who need goods transported. Brokers typically make money by taking a commission on the transaction. Finally, we have the regulators. These are government agencies that oversee the trucking industry to ensure that everyone is playing by the rules. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration is one example of a regulator in the United States. That's a high-level overview of the trucking industry and its key players. It's important to understand how everything fits together if you want to become a successful independent truck dispatcher. As you move forward in your journey, keep these key players in mind and how they might impact your business. There are several types of trucking businesses, each with their own advantages and disadvantages. Here are some examples. One, owner-operator. An owner-operator is a self-employed truck driver who owns and operates their own truck. They typically contract with carriers or shippers to haul goods on their behalf. As an owner-operator, you have complete control over your schedule and your earnings, but you're also responsible for all of the expenses associated with running your trucking business. 2. Freight Broker A freight broker is a middleman between shippers and carriers. They help shippers find carriers to transport their goods, and they help carriers find loads to haul. Freight brokers earn a commission on each load they broker. As a freight broker, you don't need to own any trucks or hire any drivers, but you do need to build relationships with shippers and carriers to be successful. 3. Carrier A carrier is a trucking company that owns and operates trucks to transport goods on behalf of shippers. Carriers can be small, with just a few trucks, or large, with hundreds or even thousands of trucks. As a carrier, you have more control over your operations than an owner-operator, but you also have more expenses and responsibilities. 4. Expediter an expediter is a type of carrier that specializes in time-sensitive shipments. They often use smaller trucks or vans that can travel faster and more easily in urban areas. As an expediter, you'll need to be able to respond quickly to last-minute requests and be available 24-7 to meet your customers' needs. 5. Specialized hauling Specialized hauling involves transporting goods that require special equipment or handling. For example, you might transport oversized loads, hazardous materials, or temperature-controlled goods. Specialized hauling can be very profitable, but it also requires specialized knowledge and equipment. As you may already know, the trucking industry is a massive and complex network that involves many different players, from shippers to carriers to brokers and more. Dispatching plays a crucial role in keeping this network running smoothly. At its core, Truck dispatching is all about coordinating the movement of goods from one place to another. A dispatcher is responsible for matching available trucks with available loads, ensuring that each shipment is picked up and delivered on time and in good condition. They also handle a range of other tasks, from managing paperwork to communicating with drivers and customers. So why is dispatching so important to the trucking industry? Well, without dispatchers, the whole system would quickly fall apart. Imagine a scenario where there's no one to coordinate the movement of goods, trucks, might sit idle, loads might go undelivered, and customers would be left unsatisfied. In short, dispatchers are the glue that holds the industry together. To give you an example of how dispatching works in practice, let's say you're a trucking company with a fleet of 10 trucks. Each day, you receive dozens of requests from shippers looking to transport their goods. Your dispatchers would be responsible for assessing each request and determining which truck is the best fit for each load. They would then communicate with the driver, providing them with all the necessary information about the shipment, such as the pickup and delivery locations, any special instructions, and so on. Throughout the process, dispatchers need to be organized, detail-oriented, and good communicators. They need to be able to manage multiple tasks at once, often in a high-pressure environment. But for those who thrive on this kind of challenge, dispatching can be a rewarding and lucrative career. I hope this gives you a good idea of how dispatching fits into the trucking industry. As a freight dispatcher, you might be one Wondering how you'll get paid for your hard work. The good news is that it's a pretty straightforward process. Typically, you'll send an invoice to your carrier at the end of the week or the end of the month, depending on the agreement you have in place. Your carrier will then pay you directly for your services. Now, you might be wondering how much you can expect to make as a dispatcher. Well, it really depends on a few factors, such as the type of freight you're working with, the volume of loads you're managing, and your level of experience. As a general rule of thumb, dispatchers can expect to earn a fee of anywhere from 5% to 12% of the total load revenue. So, for example, 
If you're managing a load that pays $1,000 and your fee is 10%, you would earn $100 for your services. Of course, it's important to note that these percentages can vary depending on the specific agreement you have in place with your carrier. Some carriers may be willing to pay a higher fee for more specialized or high volume services, while others may only be willing to pay a lower fee for more basic dispatching tasks. The key is to be upfront and transparent with your carrier about your fees and what services you'll be providing. This will help you build a solid relationship with your carrier and ensure that you're getting paid fairly for your work. As an independent truck dispatcher, your typical day can vary depending on the load volume, time of year, and the needs of your clients. But here's a general idea of what your day might look like. Start your day by checking your email, messages, and voicemail for any updates or changes to loads that you're dispatching. Review your schedule for the day and make any necessary adjustments to accommodate new loads or changes to delivery times. Contact your drivers to ensure they're on schedule and have everything they need to complete their assigned loads. Use load boards and other resources to find new loads and negotiate rates with shippers and brokers. Monitor and track your loads using transportation management systems, TMS, and GPS tracking software. Communicate with clients and drivers throughout the day to provide updates on load status and resolve any issues that may arise. Make sure all required paperwork, such as bills of lading and rate confirmations, are complete and accurate. Analyze your performance and make adjustments as needed to improve efficiency and profitability. To help you stay organized and focused, here's a checklist of things to do throughout your day. Check email, messages, and voicemail. Review and adjust schedule. Contact drivers to check in. Search for new loads and negotiate rates. Monitor and track loads. Communicate with clients and drivers. Complete and submit required paperwork. Analyze performance and make adjustments as needed. By following this routine and staying on top of your tasks, you can ensure that your dispatching business runs smoothly and efficiently and that you provide the best possible service to your clients and drivers. Creating a business plan is a crucial step in starting any business, including an independent dispatching company. Your business plan is like a roadmap that will help guide you through the initial stages of setting up your business and provide a foundation for future growth. To create a business plan, you first need to define your vision for your dispatching company. What services will you offer? Who is your target market? What are your long-term goals for your business. Once you have a clear vision in mind, it's time to start gathering information and doing research. You'll need to research the trucking industry, including industry trends, competition, and regulations. You'll also need to research your target market, including their needs and preferences. With all this information, you can start to develop a business strategy. This includes defining your unique selling proposition, USP. What sets your dispatching company apart from the competition? You'll also need to develop a marketing strategy, including how you will reach your target market and promote your services. Your business plan should also include financial projections, including startup costs, expected revenue, and profit margins. You'll need to consider factors such as equipment costs, insurance, and any licensing or certification fees. To create a successful business plan, it's important to take your time and be thorough. Don't be afraid to seek advice from industry experts or other successful business owners. And remember, your business plan is not set in stone. It's a living document that can be updated and revised as your business grows and evolves. Checklist for creating a business plan. Define your vision for your dispatching company. Gather information and do research on the trucking industry and your target market. Develop a business strategy, including your unique selling proposition and marketing strategy. Create financial projections, including startup costs, expected revenue, and profit margins. Seek advice from industry experts and other successful business owners. Continuously update and revise your business plan as your business grows and evolves. Registering your business and obtaining the necessary licenses and permits is an important step in starting your own independent dispatching company. It's important to do your research and make sure you comply with all state and federal regulations. To get started, you'll need to choose a legal structure for your business, such as a sole proprietorship, partnership, or limited liability company, LLC. This decision will affect how you pay taxes and how you are personally liable for the business's debts and legal issues. Next, 
You'll need to obtain a Federal Employer Identification Number, EIN, from the IRS. This is a unique number that identifies your business for tax purposes. You can apply for an EIN online or by mail. Depending on your state, you may also need to register your business with the state government and obtain additional licenses and permits. For example, some states require a transportation broker license to operate as a dispatching company. It's important to keep track of all the licenses and permits you need and renew them on time to avoid any legal issues. A good tip is to create a spreadsheet or checklist to help you stay organized. Here's a checklist to help you register your business and obtain necessary licenses and permits. Choose a legal structure for your business, sole proprietorship, partnership, LLC, etc. Obtain a Federal Employer Identification Number, EIN, from the IRS. Research and obtain any necessary state licenses and permits, e.g. transportation broker license. Keep track of all necessary licenses and permits and renew them on time. Create a spreadsheet or checklist to help you stay organized. Establishing your company's branding and online presence is an essential step to take when starting your own dispatching company. It is important to create a strong and recognizable brand identity that stands out in the crowded trucking industry. First, you need to come up with a unique and memorable name for your company. It should be easy to pronounce, spell, and remember. Make sure to check that the name is not already taken and that it is available as a domain name for your website. Next, create a logo and a tagline that accurately represents your brand and its values. A good logo should be simple, yet impactful and easily recognizable. It is a visual representation of your brand, so it should be unique and memorable. Your website is the online face of your company, so it is important to have a professional and user-friendly website. Make sure to include all relevant information about your business, such as your services, pricing, and contact information. Use high-quality images and graphics to make your website visually appealing. Another important aspect of establishing your online presence is creating a social media presence. Choose the platforms that are most relevant to your target audience, such as LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Make sure to regularly post engaging content that showcases your expertise and promotes your brand. Finally, it is important to actively manage your online reputation. Monitor your online reviews and respond to any negative feedback in a professional and courteous manner. Encourage your satisfied customers to leave positive reviews on popular review sites. Finding your niche is a crucial step in starting a successful independent dispatching business. One important aspect of finding your niche is understanding the different types of trucks and how they fit into the market. There are many different types of trucks that you can dispatch, each with its own unique characteristics and market demand. Some common truck types include dry vans, these are the most common type of truck, and they are used to transport dry goods such as boxed items, electronics, and clothing. Flatbeds. These trucks have a flat, open bed and are used to transport oversized and heavy items such as construction materials, machinery, and vehicles. Refrigerated trucks. These trucks have a refrigerated unit on the trailer and are used to transport temperature-sensitive goods such as food, pharmaceuticals, and medical supplies. Tankers. These trucks are used to transport liquids such as fuel, chemicals, and water. Intermodal containers. These are standardized containers that can be transported on ships, trains, and trucks. They are used to transport a wide variety of goods, including electronics, clothing, and raw materials. When choosing your niche, it's important to consider the market demand for each type of truck. For example, during the COVID-19 pandemic, there has been an increased demand for refrigerated trucks due to the need to transport vaccines and other medical supplies. To help you make an informed decision about which niche to focus on, I've created a table comparing the different types of trucks and their market demand. Keep in mind that market demand can vary depending on factors such as location and industry trends. It's always a good idea to do some research and keep an eye on the market to ensure that you are meeting the needs of your clients and staying competitive. In summary, finding your niche is an important step in starting a successful independent dispatching business. Understanding the different types of trucks and their market demand can help you make an informed decision about which niche to focus on. Use the table I provided as a starting point for your research and remember to stay flexible and adapt to changes in the market. Building strong relationships with carriers and brokers is essential for the success of any independent truck dispatching business. As a dispatcher, your ability to build and maintain these relationships can be the key to securing regular and profitable work for your drivers. To build strong relationships with carriers and brokers, it's important to understand their needs and priorities. For carriers, 
This means understanding their capacity, their preferred lanes, and their rates. For brokers, it means understanding their customers' needs and priorities, as well as their own margin requirements. Here are a few tips for building strong relationships with carriers and brokers. Communicate regularly. Regular communication is key to building and maintaining strong relationships. Keep in touch with carriers and brokers to let them know about available loads or trucks, and to get updates on their capacity and needs. Be reliable. Carriers and brokers need to be able to count on you to provide quality service and to follow through on commitments. Make sure you are responsive to their requests and that you follow up promptly on any issues or concerns. Be honest and transparent. Trust is the foundation of any successful business relationship. Be honest with carriers and brokers about your capabilities and limitations and be transparent about your rates and fees. Negotiate fairly. When negotiating rates and fees, make sure you are providing value to both carriers and brokers. Avoid undercutting rates or taking unreasonable margins, as this can damage your relationships and reputation. Offer exceptional customer service. Finally, providing exceptional customer service can help you stand out in a competitive market. Be responsive to customer needs and concerns, and go above and beyond to ensure customer satisfaction. Marketing and promoting your business is a crucial part of running a successful dispatching company. There are many ways to market and promote your business, both online and offline. First, you need to create a marketing plan that outlines your target audience, your messaging, and the channels you will use to reach your audience. This plan should be based on your business goals and objectives and should be flexible enough to adapt to changing market conditions. One effective way to market your business online is through social media. Social media platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn offer a great way to connect with potential customers and build brand awareness. You can use these platforms to share engaging and informative content about your business, post updates and news, and engage with your audience through comments and direct messages. For example, on TikTok, you can create short videos that showcase your services, share tips and insights about the trucking industry, and highlight your company culture. You can also use hashtags to increase your visibility and reach a wider audience. When you hit 1,000 followers on TikTok, you can even add your Calendly link so potential carriers can book a call with you. In addition to social media, you can also use email marketing, content marketing, and search engine optimization, SEO, to drive traffic to your website and generate leads. For example, you can create blog posts, white papers, and case studies that demonstrate your expertise and provide value to your target audience. Offline marketing tactics such as attending trade shows and conferences, printing business cards and flyers, and sponsoring industry events can also be effective in building brand awareness and generating leads. To sum up, marketing and promoting your dispatching business is an ongoing process that requires careful planning, execution, and measurement. By using a mix of online and offline tactics and focusing on your target audience, you can build a strong brand, generate leads, and grow your business over time. Don't forget to check out our other videos on dispatching and starting your own business. We have a ton of valuable content that can help you succeed, so be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our latest videos. And if you're interested in learning more about dispatching and taking your skills to the next level, click the link in our bio to check out our courses. Our comprehensive training can take you from zero to hero in no time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.